In tonight's top story, North Dakota's dairy industry continues to dwindle, and the COVID-19 pandemic has made things much harder. KX News reporter Robert Sir tells us how those in the dairy industry are doing their best to tread water through these tough times. That's a very frustrating thing as a farmer to know what we're getting paid and then to see what is happening in the grocery stores and then, you know, it doesn't trickle down. It's been a sour few years for America's dairy industry, from sales slumps thanks to milk alternatives like almond or soy milk to bankruptcies of major corporations such as Dean Foods. It seems the dairy business was already fighting an uphill battle, and that's before the COVID-19 pandemic hit. Yes, it caused huge demand for what's called liquid product, but the gains from that were offset by huge losses because demand for dairy collapsed when schools, restaurants, and other milk-friendly businesses closed. And while your huge milk corporations can eat some of those losses, your local farms, like many across North Dakota, are on life support. The operations of 250 or less cows, they just can't compete. Their break-evens are oftentimes, you know, north of 19 or $20, depending upon if they're including their, their own personal time and labor. And so when you look at that, uh, this market is not allowing them to continue. We've had four yet negative years of, of a very harsh dairy economic landscape. That's Dan Bessie of Ag Resource, an agricultural market research firm in Chicago. He tells me one of the biggest issues is large milk conglomerates making money at one end, but passing the profits onto the producer with tweezers on the other end. I'm here in New Salem in the heart of Morton County's dairy country, and the saying around here goes that you should enjoy the view from Salem Sioux. But dairy farmers I spoke with told me the view of their profits because of the COVID-19 pandemic is anything but enjoyable. Head just north of New Salem and you'll find Ash Grove Dairy, run by Christy Klusman and her husband. Even though the milk prices have recovered, there's some other expenses that are coming in that get minus off of our check because of the huge fluctuation from up to down. And so it, for the next two months, they're saying the prices are still going to be really, you know, really tough for the dairy industry. They run a small dairy farm on just a few hundred acres of land. She adds that they and many other farmers have considered getting out of dairy, but there's no market for their animals, so they're forced to keep pressing on. And what's especially frustrating to her is seeing empty store shelves. It's a packaging problem, and so it's frustrating to see that they're limiting people you know, I don't think they are so much now, but during like the height of the pandemic, you know, they were limiting people to one gallon at a time. And we know that the product is there. So that's really frustrating. She said the way things are going now, in five years, there may be only a dozen dairy farms left across the state compared to around 50 today. Reporting for KX News in New Salem, I'm Robert Sir. Industry experts say while well, prices should remain high for the next two or three months after that, it's anyone's guess. Only a tiny fraction.